Hello and welcome to Longship Gaming. Today we are playing Marvel Champions. It's part of our Vengeance cycle. We are going to be playing Venom versus Zola. So Zola previously defeated another one of our heroes in a previous game. And uh, although I have already played Venom on the channel once, that was for a video playing on Standard against the Wrecking Crew. Um, and that was for the Solo Champions League. Uh, so I realized he really hadn't been put through his paces in one of the sort of proper games that I, I play on this channel. So let's see if Flash Thompson Venom can go the distance against the thorn on my side that is expert Zola. Uh, so went on to the Marvel Champions database. Found a more recent um, deck uh, for Venom. Uh, it's Aggression because we need to uh, take down the villain as quickly as possible, but also dealing with the high health minions that constantly come out. So I think aggression under Venom is the best way to do that. So I will credit the um, creator and link to the deck in the description below. So what we have is for our one ally, we have Bug. Good mostly just to do some easy thwarting since he uh, will heal after... Flash uh, makes a basic attack. For our event, we have two copies of Drop Kick. Always important to do some stunning. Two copies of Into the Fray. Um, good for doing uh, excessive damage to the minions to deal with uh, threat off the scheme since it has a very low threshold uh, when playing solo. Get some, uh, you know, extra. Uh, value out of uh, taking on minions and doing excess damage to them. Uh, two copies of No Quarter, which is not one I played previously, has a strength requirement. Uh, deal four damage to an enemy for each point of excess damage dealt to the enemy by this attack. Discard the top card of your deck and add each aggression uh, red card. Discard this way to your hand. So... Four doesn't seem to be a lot, especially in this scenario where you have, um, I think, the, the lowest uh, health minion that comes out from Zola is a three. So where does the value come from? Well, we'll show you that in a second. The, the one card that makes this entire deck work. Uh, we have three copies of Fusilade because of the weapons that he will have in his deck. And a straight five damage is pretty good. Honed Technique. Okay, so the first of our upgrades here, this is what makes this deck viable. So requirement in order to play it, it's cost three. You got to play out um, or use two genius resources to do it. Interrupt when you play an aggression attack event, and it has to be an aggression one, which is why we have so many. If you paid for that event using a genius resource, increase the amount of damage that event deals by its printed cost. So now you see where these other attack cards really start to shine. Um, to do that excess, da excess damage to get some real benefit out of, uh, out of hitting them hard. And you really want to get in the habit of like one-shotting or trying to one-shot these uh, minions off the board because they will just continue to get in your way and you won't be able to deal with Zola himself. Uh, and you can always meet this criteria very easily because, well, we'll get to that in a minute, but Venom can generate his own wildcard resource. So combat training to pump up uh, Venom's innate attack. Martial prowess to pay for those um, attack events. Fluid motion, which is again a newer card. After you play an attack event, exhaust this card. Your hero gets plus one attack until the end of the activation. So another little bump to um, Flash's innate attack abilities. And two copies of Power of Aggression because these cards are costly. For our basic cards, we have, for our allies, Gamora. Uh, she's there for us to go look for more of our events. And she's a solid hitter, a three for three with an attack of two. And the thing is, every time she attacks her thwarts, we do gain um, that chance to get another event. Mockingbird, of course, for stunning. And a little bit of thwart or a little bit of taking tough off enemies. For our supports, we have Halicarrier, CITT. Booster Boots, also oh, our upgrade, we have Booster Boots just to reduce some of the damage, although he's very, very healthy. And Endurance to pump up his hit points from the base 12 to 15. And Genius Strength and Energy. 
So to go over our scenario, we're playing an expert. So we have Zola starting on stage two. He's got 14 health, scheme of two, attack of two. He's got a retaliate of one, which is something we always have to keep in mind. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for the test subject side scheme, which it is. It's out. Um, the Island Dr. Zola, uh, two stage scheme. First one, threshold of six, comes in with nothing on it. Um, after resolving step one of the villain phase, place one th test counter here. Then, if there are three or more test counters, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a minion is discarded. Put that minion into play, engage with the first player, and remove three test counters from the scheme. The most important thing to realize there is that's put, not reveal. So that's a way to get around some of the, uh, the tougher minions, the mutate specifically. Uh, Hydra Prison, which comes out as part of the setup, is uh, completely blanked for, um, for Venom because he has no signature ally. So it's just going to sit there, and I find it's just a, a good way to soak up, uh, let's say Master Plane comes out, put four threat on a scheme, well, there you go, put on a Hydra Prison. I will never be getting rid of that because it's absolutely useless for me to do so. And test subjects. So when defeated, the first player discards cards from the top of their encounter deck until they discard a minion, reveal that minion. So that's a bit different from when this fills up with uh, test counters. Starts on two and gives us an additional encounter card each turn. So that one has to go quick, and we just have to take our lumps um, by having uh, one of the minions come out, which is going to be a constant during this scenario. So for Venom, he's got 12 starting hit points on Flash Thompson's side. He's got a four recovery, which is remarkable. Uh, you can control one additional upgrade that has the restricted keyword. <clears throat> he has armed and ready. Set up discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a weapon upgrade. Then add that card to your hand. And on his hero side, I have a thwart of one, attack of two, defense of two. I can control one additional upgrade that has restricted, which is his weapons. And symbiotic bond, resource, take one damage, generate a wild card resource, bloom it once per phase. So he's pretty durable. Uh, this combined with... Um, uh, the Operation or oh, Project Rebirth 2.0. He can heal seven on a turn, and he is really going to... There's going to be a lot of back-and-forth damage in this game with opportunities to, to take a rest when confusing the enemy. So, that's it. We're going to get shuffled up, ready to go, and we'll be right back with Venom versus Armin Zola. All right, we're back. We're shuffled up and ready to go. Uh, apologies in advance. My uh, my whole family's coming off of a cold. My throat's feeling a little raw today. So uh, there might be the occasional pause while I cough from talking a lot. I have my bottle of water here ready to go, mm -hmm. but you know, it not, might not be enough. So, okay. So we got our starting six cards. We've got Mockingbird, uh, Sit, Spider Sense, Venom's Pistol, Venom's Pistol, and No Quarter. Okay. Um, Sit's not doing us any good right now. No Quarter isn't doing us any good. We really want to try and mulligan hard for... Uh, hone technique, but it's difficult to pass some of these up, especially like say, not getting rid of Mockingbird. The two pistols are good because that would give us some options. I think for now we're going to drop Spider Sense. So we have Gamora, Fusilade, and Into the Fray. Okay. So now, we discard until we find a weapon, and we know that there's only one left in here, and we better hope that it's close to the top for the multi-gun. Oh boy.
All right. Well, we went through more than half our deck. That's not great. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to flip over. Tough choices here. Uh, we're going to spend, we're going to use uh, Symbiotic Bond to put out one of our weapons. Uh, Multigun is way too valuable for us, so I think we're definitely going to put that out as well. And you know what? We'll just take our lumps. So this way, this will allow us to uh, get rid of the bio servant if we choose to. We could leave it out and then get rid of test subjects right away using the multigun. Which I sort of feel is what we're going to want to do. So the multigun we're going to use to get rid of the threat off test subjects. So then we go looking for another... And there's mutate, not the one we want. And mutate immediately gets neurological implants, which is very bad for us. Because that's hitting at a four now. Um, so we are actually going to hit it for four right away. We cannot let this thing stick around. So we're going to be taking some significant hits on this turn. One, two, three, four, five. Good thing is, though, we have all our weapons there. So bug, booster boots, grasping, grasping tendrils, combat training, and energy. Oh, that's pretty good for us as well. Oh, why I put that on myself? I know I'm going to take damage, but not right away. Okay. Throat goes on. Test counter goes on. Zola's going to attack. I feel like we grasping tendrils. For sure. So, let's do that. Stops his attack and stuns him. And now we're going to take some hits. So we're going to take one from Servant and four from the Mutate. All right. And counter card. Zola's Experiments. Force response after a minion enters play. Attach the topmost tech attachment in that encounter. Discard pile to that minion. Okay. I mean, it's not great, but it's not impossible to deal with. Okay. Well, we know we're killing the mutate. We could also get rid of Zola's experiments. Okay, so the mutate has seven hit points. He's taking, so this is going to be enough. Actually, we only need to do three, so we're going to keep one of these back. So that's good. We're going to use the multi-gun to get rid of the threat off of here. Um... Might be worth to get more stuff out here. No, we don't want to hurt ourselves much more. And we're going to use Bug to thwart the experiments. And we're going to stand back up. One, two, three, four, five. Extra encounter card.
Uh, Savage Attack, Into the Fray, Drop Kick, Running Gun, Fusillade. Okay. Fusillade, Fusillade. Not entirely sure. All right. Threat goes on. He's stunned. He can't attack. Um, the Bio Servant can. We'll take one. First encounter card. Technological Enhancements. Insight one. And then place one test counter, which does not trigger yet. Next one, mutate. So now I have to deal with him again. Looking for a tech upgrade for him. And it's neurological implants again. Okay. So. We're going to do. I'd love to do into the fray. Let's see. It's got seven hit points. We could kill him outright. And then run again, run and gun. Okay. So we're going to do a basic attack and do four again. Um, we are, we just did a basic attack, so we're going to heal one from Bug. Bug is going to hit him for another one, so he's at five, and we're going to shoot him with a multi-gun, so it takes out the mutate. Then... We have one where we can take damage. I think running gun is the the best option here. But I don't think we can play much of anything else, even if we discount it. Yeah. It's another case of having to take our lumps, really. Alternatively, we could mm, can't drop kick. We won't get the car draw off jump uh, drop kick, unfortunately. Into the fray, savage hack. Yeah, it's not not enough. So it is going to have to be run and gun. But I'm going to hang on to drop kick. So run and gun, everything comes up again. Uh, we're going to ping off the tough and then hit him for four. So we're finally done with him. Uh, that's going to heal bug again. And we're going to hold on to drop kick. One, two, three, four. So Dropkick, Martial Prowess, Project Rebirth, Booster Boots, Grasping Tendrils. Wow. Another Grasping Tendrils. That gives us a lot of options on this turn. Okay. Anyway, scheme goes on. We now go looking for another minion. We went through a lot when we were searching before, so let's see if there are any left. It was very, uh, very top heavy with them.
Okay, so the old bio servant comes back again. He's going to attack. I think we'll have... No, you know what? So we're going to take one damage. Uh, spend the boots to play Grasping Talon. It's tendrils, which stops him. Oh, have to play it with strength. I forgot that. So we can use Dropkick instead. Yes, so that will stop him. Hopefully I did that right last time, but we'll have to, uh, I'm not going to roll it back now. I'm just to assume that I did. If not, please point out in the, uh, the comments. I'm sure there is another path to be taken. Uh, all right, so that's going to stop him dead. The servant will attack. We'll take one. And counter card. Under attack. Each player chooses to place two threat here or three threat on, or, or three damage to our hero. Well, we have no choice but to put the threat on. See, I was hoping this turn to be able to uh, do some healing. But that's not the case, and now we have a problem. Okay. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get enough off of it. We can do four, no, three now, some more later. Yeah, so I think I'm going to put out Martial Prowess. I'm going to get rid of two. Then Bug can thwart for one. So it's down to two. We may be in a position where we have no choice but to let the island flip. We're just too hurt to continue. Yeah. Don't like having to do it, but I don't think we have much of a choice. We go back up to seven. And we know it's going to flip. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hone technique, which is what we need. Strength, grasping tendrils, no quarter, savage attack, and run and gun. Uh, I can get it out this turn. Let's see what happens. Okay. So, threat and a counter is going to go on. Um, he's going to scheme for two, which is going to be more than enough. So all this is going to go and it's going to flip. Uh, so now it's revealing another in the butt minion it's a uh, mutate okay well that's you know what that's one of the better ones <laughs> i'm fine with that he can't scheme the bio servant can so one more is going to go on here and encounter card uh surge surge attach the minion most remaining hit points plus two hit points and retaliate one okay Not really that big of a deal. Okay. Um, do we need to heal? 
kind of feel we don't. But yeah, we got to get honed technique out for sure. So we're going to flip. We're going to use our wild card. And no quarter. And savage attack, let's say. Yeah. To pay for hone technique. We're going to thwart. So under attack is gone. We're going to attack, mutate for three. So I'm going to get that off bug. Then we're going to run and gun. We're going to ping off the tough. We'll hit him for four. Still not dead, unfortunately. I'm going to take one for the retaliate. Uh, we'll have bug thwart for one. And I think we're getting to be in a good position here with our engine. All right. Just do some light adjustments. It's really blown out those cards there. There we go. Okay. Uh, so I think that's it. Helicarrier, Power of Aggression, Run and Gun, Spider Sense, and Dropkick. Excellent. Love to see Dropkick at this stage. Okay. Zolo would attack, but he's not. The Bio Servant is going to attack. We're going to take attack, be attacked for one. And encounter card. Uh, attach the minion with the most remaining hit points without another cop. Uh, he's already got pain inhibitors, so it's going to surge. He's going to scheme. Uh oh. Two, three. Okay. That could have been really bad. I mean, it's not great, but <laughs> it's not uh, as awful as it could be. Okay, so. We're going to take out the servant. He's only got two left on him. Is there anything here that would be good to, uh, to use? Not really. So, I mean, it's really just one, two. I don't have to use my pistols at all for this. So he's gone. We don't take the Rotelli because he's been destroyed. Going to use the multi-gun to thwart. Oh yeah, Bug healed because we did the basic attack. Bug will thwart. Bug is so useful. There's two on there. Now. I think we're going to... Martial Prowess. Plus Power of Aggression for a drop kick. So we're not able to use hone technique here. So it's going to be four damage. 
He's stunned. We need our Confuse card in order to uh, be able to flip over again. And we draw a card. So it's Fusillade. Um, tempted here to run and gun so I can get all of the threat off of Mad Doctor and then flip over and heal again. I think that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to run and gun, flip up, thwart for two, flip down, heal for four, back up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Genius, sit, locked and loaded. It's not of any use anymore. Fluid motion, Gamora and Mockingbird. All pretty good. Okay. Um, scheme, counter goes on. He's going to do a scheme for two. Uh, just two and a test counter goes on, but it's not going to trigger. Counter card, Vibranium Armor. After the villain takes damage, give it a tough status card. Okay. Okay. We really need our Confuse card be able to take some time off here. But, you know, Project Rebirth would be great too. We're going to heal. We're going to go back up to 12. We're going to flip over. Multi-gun. Going to leave Bug as he is. Uh, he's already stunned. I mean, sit might be good here to be able to stand back up. Gamora would also be excellent, but with Retaliate out there. Uh, but thwarting is also pretty good for her, so. Well, we know Fluid Motion also really good to get all of our resources out. So adjust that again. It's getting a little, getting a little dark. Okay. We know we're going to have a another minion come out. I don't think we're really hitting him this turn because we want to be able to get rid of vibranium armor. So. Um. Let's go with. Gamora. She's going to thwart. Now we discard till we get an event. Fusillade. Um, I think we're going to hurt ourselves to get fluid motion out. Then we'll get sit out as well. Why not? Uh, yeah, that's it for the turn. One, two, three, four, five. Behind enemy lines. That's what we need. Well, needed before combat training, no quarter, power of aggression, and endurance. Okay. So. Scheme goes on. This comes off. Oh, one gets put on. Three come off. Looking for a minion. I'm going to bet that there aren't any more. Can't find them, so now he's going to accelerate. Which is great for us. 
So I think now is the time we're going to be able to start laying some really heavy hits onto him. First, we've got to get rid of uh, Vibranium Armor. I think it's just a pain. Don't have to waste attacks. <clears throat> okay. So he's gonna attack, but he can't because he's stunned. Encounter card, under attack. I think this time we're just gonna take the three damage. Put three on there. Because now we have behind the enemy lines. We can get rid of it. Um, hmm. We're still not really hitting. So let's first of all have Gamora thwart. That down to two, and then we'll have the gun get the rest off. Um, now we discard until we find the vent. There's into the fray. My cat has something to say. Um, Now we want to get rid of, so we're going to hurt ourselves to pay for one of the strength resources and then use, might as well be combat training to get rid of that. And hello, I have a cat just off camera coming to visit. But uh, you can't sit up here, I'm afraid. So off you go, thank you. Thank you for your contribution. So that's gone. So now the way is somewhat open. Um. I think we want to confuse. I'm probably going to flip over. Okay, let's see how we do this. We definitely want it behind the enemy lines. So we're not really going to be attacking. We need to spend... Oh, we have to only use... Genius. So one, and we'll use this one as genius. play out behind enemy lines, which is going to confuse him. And we'll put out endurance. So our hit points go up 10. It's risky, but I think we do have to do it. Or do we? I'm, I'm feeling like we don't yet have to. Yeah, so we're not. We can leave that confused there for a bit. He's going to get an encounter card. So we've again exhausted our deck. But we are in a very good position to start doing some significant damage. We just need to break off these jerks for a bit. But that's the Zola scenario for you. One, two, three, four. Oh, whoop, four. Uh, 
So. Oh. Is this another one? Yeah, this is another one that we picked up. <laughs> Funny. Project Rebirth, Spider Sense, Into the Fray, and Savage Attack. Okay. Counter goes on. Now he's scheming two at the start. He's going to attack. Um, we're just going to take it. So it's two, three. First encounter card. Attach the villain. He gets retaliate two now, which is a real pain. Uh, and then he attacks and we are stunned. Uh, I think Bug has uh, done everything he needs to do. Uh, put a test counter on, so it's going to go to three. And then it's just going to do a lot. So five to Bug. Thanks, Bug. All right. We're stunned. That's a pain. He's already confused. There's no minion out there. So I think yet again, so we're going to thwart. We're going to exhaust. Hurt ourselves for one to get rid of concussion blast. Oh, we should have taken another one off of that before. Um, Yeah, none of these. I'm going to hang on to behind the enemy lines. Spend Savage Attack to put out Project Rebirth. We're going to leave Gamora for now. We're going to flip over. We're going to use Rebirth to heal ourselves for three. And I think that's it. We're going to hang on to these two from we stand back up again. One, two, three, four. Behind enemy line, Spider Sense, Running Gun, Helicarrier, No Quarter, and Savage Attack. Okay, another one's going to go on, but three are going to come off, so I'm just going to take two off of here. Looking for a minion. It's a bio servant. Uh, Zola's going to try and scheme, but he can't. Battle Servant will. Encounter card. Attach a minion with the most remaining hit points. It goes plus two hit points in guard. That's fine. Now, do we use... Rebirth to draw a card or to heal? What am I doing this turn? Well, I need to get rid of the stun. So he's not healing on his own. So I think it's going to be healing. So back up to 11. We're going to flip over. 
we're going to get rid of that stone. Um, we are going to use Gamora to attack and ping off the tufts. We go looking for an event. We found Fusillade. Thank you, Gamora. So this has six hit points. Um, so that will only be six. So I wouldn't get any benefit from it. I'm not using the pistols right now anyway. Running gun would be quite good. So I think we're going to use Fusillade, make the wild card into a genie's resource. So now that does a grand total of seven damage, which should be enough to take out the bio servant. We're going to multi-gun. Um, we're going to think, put out the hell carrier. Which will give us let's do it a different way, which will allow us to play behind the enemy lines, which gets all of that off and confuses him again. I think that's it. We just need one turn to be able to really get the hits in on them. But we have our entire engine working right now. One, two, three, four, five. Will this be the turn finally? Power of aggression, running gun, behind enemy lines, booster boots locked and loaded. So probably not, okay. He's going to attack. We're just going to take it. So it's two, Ooh, five, ouch. Well, I know what I'm doing next turn. Encounter card. Uh, there's no minion. No minion. A minion. He's going to quick strike. We'll take the two. Okay. So. We're going to multi-gun. We're going to attack him for three. We're going to play out running gun, stand everything up again, uh, play with booster boots. We're going to ping Zola for two. It's not an attack, so we don't take retaliate.
we are going to flip over. We're going to heal and heal for a grand total of seven. So we go back up to 10. Okay. Now, will this be the turn? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Energy, drop kick, fusillade, no quarter, into the fray, power of aggression. Well, that's a, that's a good lot of stuff there. Okay. So. Two goes on. One goes on. They come off. Go looking for a minion. It's a mutate. That's a good one. Has no scheme. He's confused. He cannot... And a mutate. So yet again, we have to deal with these guys. And it gets plus two hit points. Okay. Uh, let's just use Project Rebirth to heal. So up to 13. We will flip over. We will thwart for two. Um, Zol's mutate has how much on him? So we could I want to get a drop kick in here somehow too. Oh, no quarter might be really good against the mutate or the berserk mutate. So let's see if we can manage that somehow. So, going to one, two, counting that one as a genius, it's a fusillade, which is going to do seven off of hone technique to the mutate, so it's just gone. Oh, to do one of these. Interestingly, that then gives us a plus one to attack until the end of the phase. I think we no quarter him. Counting one of them as a genius resource and the other one as a strength resource. So it's going to do six to the mutate. So it's an excess of three. Uh, discard and we're looking for aggression cards. Not aggression. Aggression. Not aggression. Okay. Would love to do a drop kick here, but I don't think I have the right resources to do it. That's too bad. So I think we're going to combat training. We're going to hang on to both of these. Yeah, we're going to hang on to both of those. For a subsequent turn. Uh, and then we have one from fluid motion, two now from combat training, three for the pistol, so five. 
So he's down to three. Let me take one retaliate for that. Hold on to these two. One, two, three. Forgot we have booster boots out. <laughs> it's kind of important for us. Drop kick, drop kick, grasping tendrils, fusillade. All right. So, counter's going to go on. Two goes on. Well, I should probably turn up my ridiculous pile of cards here. I mean, I don't think there's anything left <laughs> that uh, I need to pull out of my deck anymore. Okay. He's going to attack. Uh, we're just going to take it. So two, three, four, down to seven. Counter card, in sight. All right. So, we definitely want to be drop kicking. But it will stun him, he'll flip, and the stun will fall off. So I think we just want to hit him first. First, we're going to, of course, get the thread off. Then we're going to hit him for three. So he's going to flip. We take one for that. So he goes up to 16. He's on stage three. Discard pile and reveal it. Um, I know who that's going to be. That is going to hit me for three, though. That will then... Allow us, let's be very careful here. So we're going to one, two, three for the drop kick. We're going to count, no, it has to all be that. So we're just going to bring him down to 12. He's going to get stunned. We're going to draw a card. It's going to be run and gun. Which is very good for us. The mutate I'm not too concerned about. But we are kind of hurting. So we're going to run and gun. Turn everything back up again. We're going to multi-gun. There. This is very risky. But I feel that we have to flip over. Or else we just lose. No, wait, we don't have to. We just turned over again. So we're going to take out the mutate. Yeah, we don't want to risk that necessarily. We can still probably get away with one more turn. With him being stunned. Counter card.
Uh, so I dropped the cards all over the floor. Let's do that again. Pardon me, my klutziness there. Okay, Mockingbird, Grasping Tendrils, Running Gun, Behind Enemy Lines, and Fuse Slots. So Behind Enemy Lines is something we were definitely looking for. Okay. Throw goes on. Counter goes on. Counter comes off. Looking for a minion. Bio Servant. Stun, so we can't attack. Bio Servant can, so we'll take one. Encounter card. Concussive Blast. We'll take one. Next one. Wow. 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 That's... Wow. Oh. However, as usual, I forgot about Booster Boots. So I'm going to roll that back because I keep forgetting that card even exists. So I'm going to exhaust them, prevent the damage I took from the Bio Servant. A little bit of retcon there. But, you know, turn isn't necessarily over. And I'm sure that anybody watching this would have been screaming at me that I had booster boots <laughs> this entire time. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Uh, some days. Some days. Okay. So we need to behind enemy lines. To get rid of the threat off of here. To confuse Zola. Um, I can't. I can't afford to hurt myself to do anything here. Could take out the bio servant. Yes, yeah, so let's do that. Let's ping the servant. Take out the servant. Uh, use sit. Stand up again, flip over, heal and heal, and go got back up to eight. I think throughout the game I could have been taking far less damage than I was if I remembered that the boots were there. So I don't feel so bad about retconning that a little bit. To my advantage. One, two, three, four, five. It is, after all, a solo game. Longing bird, drop kick, grassing tendrils into the fray, fusillade, fusillade. Okay, this may be the end of Zola on this next turn, depending on what happens. So, counter goes out, threat goes on, he cannot scheme because he's confused. Uh, 
and he's going to scheme because that's Mind Ray and we are confused. Great. Scheming for three, just three. So I think we got lucky there. Wow. Oh, I forgot to turn these up. Um, okay. Do we draw a card or heal? I think we draw a card. Savage attack. We're going to flip over. Let's see how much damage we have here. Two for the gun. Mm. First thing we're doing over anything else is using an aggression card to attack. Into the fray doesn't count because we're not using that. So let's, at, at a very basic amount, we're doing, um, so five from Venom himself, seven from the gun, and then whatever else I want to do. So I don't think I necessarily need to be all that fancy about it. So I'm just going to straight up attack him. So one, two, three, four, five. He's down to seven. Uh, and then, no, we can't do fusillade because we used that. Oh, two for the gun, down to five. Not an attack, so we're fine. And then let's say we do a, uh, we just do a good old savage attack, spending whatever cards we want for the last five, taking him down to zero. Wow. We're really on the brink. Oh, I totally forgot to reshuffle that. So it would have been another acceleration token. And he would have been at six. So that was really close. One more turn, and I think it would have been uh things would have been not good for me. But that was the that was the opening I had. Now I've played this scenario before, and this is almost always the way. You have to build, 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 be very careful of taking out those uh those enemies until you really have that window to be able to do a significant amount of damage. But that was awfully close. Um and again, I don't feel in the least bad about rewinding that for booster boots um <laughs> because my god two back-to-back because of blast like that that's some straight bs i mean it happens but uh all right so venom has avenged whoever it was i can't even remember at this point who uh who, who lost to zola uh, but venom takes down zola and um I would say freeze his ally from the prison, but that doesn't even exist. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know down below if you enjoyed the video and point out anything I did wrong because there's always a chance in these longer games with so much going on. Uh, but until next time, happy gaming. Thank you so much for watching Longship Gaming. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It will really help the channel to grow and improve. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when more Longship Gaming content goes live. Until next time, happy gaming.